Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Klein's Land. I'm Walter P. Barnstormer. Um, just picking up from where we left off last time, if you remember we were uh, arranging to do a contract. Well, I went ahead, I ended up starting the contract. This is just uh, coming to the tail end of it now. So just fertilizing our potato field. Uh, I say our potato field, it's not our potato field, but a kind of field we have played a big part in it. This is the second time we fertilized it, so it would be nice to see them grow. Uh, just coming, yeah, that's probably the last run down the field now. We're really just sitting around at the minute waiting for crops to ripen. Uh, pretty much ready to go. They're on the last stage growth. There we go, we've just finished this one. Happy, happy days, contracts. We'll collect that one. Three and a half thousand pounds. Excellent. And get ourselves back home again. So we're now up to seven and a half thousand. We're rich. Rich, rich, rich. What are we going to spend all the money on? Um, to be honest, it's probably going to be a horse and a cow. I uh, can't remember how much money the horses were. I think the £5,000, isn't that right? Um, so, yeah, technically we could afford a horse and a cow. Um, it would leave us with £74 in the bank, however, which I think might be stretching things a little bit. So it does give us a bit of a dilemma then. Should we go for a horse or a cow? Uh. Well, that's tricky, actually. I'm thinking on it now. I mean, the horse would make us more money quicker. Because we really only have to keep it for a couple of days, and then we'll turn a small profit on it. Maybe even only one day, because um, we're about to get some oats in as well on this next harvest. Um, so that would be quite good if we could uh, maybe start making a few thousand pounds. Oh, wow, can't see a thing past that. Just drop it down, see if that helps. There we go. And where am I going to put it? Lots of space over there. Oh no, hang on, that's my little shortcut cut for you. So if I just drop it down there. There we go. So we'll take a quick look. See where we are with regards to growth. Um, might end up hanging around a little bit. or just skipping through some time. And... Uh, speeding things along. Actually, whilst I'm here, before we do anything, I'm going to give the JCB a bit of a clean. It's very dirty. There we go, that's looking better. Give this a bit of a wash off as well. So I think we're on final stages of growth. Uh, where are we? So wheat is in field two, oats is in field five, and this unnumbered grass field. So where are we at? There, that one's only planted yet. Two and five, that's last stages of growth. Okay, so hopefully shouldn't be too long. Maybe this afternoon then. We should be harvesting on that. Just take a quick look at the animals whilst I'm here. Plenty of food, water, everything's good. 42 litres of milk. Um, producing more slurry than milk, okay. And horse, 4,800, so about to turn a profit, hopefully, on horses. Um, plenty of everything else, just need to get some oats across to them. Actually, whilst I'm here, then I'll jump in the JCB and do a little bit of tidying up for five minutes and just move some things around. So I've got a pallet of seeds up here don't need these to be sitting here. I'll take them around, put them by the cedar. Yep, missed them. Come on. There we go. I'll plant these over there, then at least they'll be ready to go next time we have a crop to plant, which hopefully should be in the next episode. Well, no, actually, probably because I'll have to harvest this one, get it in, then I'm going to have straw, so that'll need growing up and baling. So it'll be a couple of episodes time, but not be too far away. So here we go, we'll just set this one in here. Might actually bring the fertilizer across as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, because in theory, this should be the next thing that needs it. 
and I know there's not an awful lot of fertilizer in it at the minute so I've got some left in the spreader but I'm not planning on doing any more contracts at the minute oh actually is that no that's lime up there so the lime can stay there let me just jump out is this fertilizer that's fertilizer uh, quite a lot there 2,000 liters oh, I've got more seeds in here should take those seeds across there as well and what's this this is lime right okay so I'll move fertilizer across and I'll move the lime across and bring no move the fertilizer across move the seeds across and then I'll bring the lime into the shed up here so I should be able to put this pallet on top of this one without so much issues just doesn't like it maybe try and stack these bags on top of each other there we go drop that there lovely Alright, cool. Well, we're all sorted now, so I'll pop this guy back in here, quickly jump out, and we are ready to harvest. So, first harvest on Klein's land. Oh, I bundled the wrong shed. Come back, come back. There we go, in this one. Quickly jump into the harvester, and let's go get some crops done. Get the harvester out of the shed and see how we get on with this um, we'll go out and do this field first not expecting massive uh, quantities off any of this it should be pretty good yields but um, yeah I mean they're not the biggest fields in the world so it'll be enough to keep us going anyway I'm sure And we're off we just make sure we are dropping some straw as well yeah because we do want to build that for later maximize the profit from the field and also get it in to get a bit of manure so that we can start doing the greenhouses cool so it shouldn't take me too long to get this field in uh, we'll probably either do a bit of a time lapse or a jump cut through as we go through this Welcome back, you join us again, just uh, I'm sure you see we've just done our first load in the combine. It's actually just a lot more green than what I was expecting it to. So just uh, getting my first lorry load done. What was it about, I uh, forgot what it was, six and a half thousand litres or so? Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting to uh, need the lorry on this field. I just thought it was all going to fit into the combine. Yeah, so that's excellent. Um, so what I'll do is, I'll fill this up. Um, may as well do the rest of the field right here. But then I'll run round drop this off for the horses as well so it'll be quite good then to get them up at full productivity too so we'll jump back in the combine and just quickly finish off this field and pop that pipe back in and get oh so in reverse gear get the header going again and off we go i'll finish this field off empty out the rest of the hopper and then uh either go off to the other field start it or it'll be wheat yeah that'll be the wheat field um or we'll off and feed the horses first actually yeah we'll do that and make sure they're good 
and then look at possibly getting the dealer out and getting yourself some straw as well and get that manure production underway. I'm not too sure how many bales of straw we'll get out of this, but um, just thinking on what we got grass out of that field, it was, what about eight, six, two, four, six, six, seven bales of grass out of that field, so actually, yeah, I mean, I would say we'll probably be looking at hmm, ten, ten bales of hay. I don't know if hay and grass both uh, kind of yield the same, or if one of them significantly more or less. So I'm going to hope, hope we might get about 10, 10 bales of straw out of this, 40,000 litres. It would be quite good if it did. And then we'll still have the straw from the wheat as well to sell. Because um, I don't need that much of it really, it's not going to take much at all to keep this going. I suppose, yeah, I think the horses do take straw as well. I'm not sure if they take straw in the vanilla game or not. We'll see, we'll see. So yeah. We're actually starting to feel like I'm making progress now. I'll get the combine set off on this. Take a little look as well and see just how much money we could possibly get for all this stuff. It's just pretty much the perfect width as long as it stays in that line. Right. Oh, come on. So we're looking at oats. Oats is this one. Oh, it's still on the rise, two and a half thousand. Oh, well, it looks like quite a good price at the minute. Be happy with that. And then if we go across to straw, straw is never worth so much, but oh, it's in the downturn. But it's it looks to be quite high as well, at 160. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back to that little slither. It's just too big, but that's all right. Extra oats is all good oats. I'm not complaining about that. Just let the straw on load a little bit at the end, stops it bunching up in too big a pile and then making it awkward for the dealer. Uh, could ch no, I'll, no, I'll put it this little bit into swaths as well. Just made an extra little run back to the dealer. I'll try and, you know, it's not going to keep close enough so that the dealer will pick it all up in one go. But yeah, realistically, pretty happy with this. Another 1700 litres of oats. It's all good and that should actually keep our horses going for quite some time. Lovely. So, I'll just knock this off. I'll take the combine down to the bottom of the field, just park it on the grass. So then if I do want to come back with the trailer, or not with the trailer, with the um, baler, I can do. We'll look at getting the straw off the field as well. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Right, we'll go back, jump into the truck and see how much we actually ended up with there. I don't know how much the horse will take. But we do have enough money now, 7,500. I could actually... Look at buying myself another horse. So just over 8,000 litres. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, horses, horses. I've forgotten where my horses live. I think they're down here. Let's go on a little adventure. See, this is why I can't play in big maps. This is the world's smallest map and I can't remember where I put things. I think they live down here. I know this is where the greenhouses are. Oh yeah, I do say if I want to play in the greenhouses then it's going to cost me 4,500. Which would only take me down to three thousand pounds left for a horse. Oh, sorry, sign. Um, well, we'll see what this takes. I may have things to sell, so that could be good. And where would I feed these horses? That's the sheep in there. So I don't want to go there with it. Um, let me just jump out. I can't remember where I put the feed for the horses last time. Ah, find you. There we go. So let's see, will the tip in there work as well? And actually, will that truck go through that gap? More to the point. Doesn't look to be the biggest in the world. We shall see. Hmm. Yeah, this... Right. We may have to rethink this, so I'll go back, tip it into the silo, and then bring it back again in the JCB. 
didn't think on that. It's going to actually need quite a small trailer in that case if we do want to take bigger loads in and out of there. I'll use the little track down the side of the field to help me get along a bit quicker. I'm sure the neighbour won't mind. Uh, yeah, my wheat is also ready, so what I might do then is start looking at a couple of chickens as well. Get some chickens in, and a few eggs will always bring in extra pounds as well. It'll not be too hard to move them around. And at the minute, every little helps. Definitely need the money coming in. There's some more oats as well that have come through. They're fully fertilised, they're lime, they are as productive as I can get them at the minute. So that'll be quite good as well. So this is just over 8,000 litres of oats. And maybe get another three, 4,000 out of that other field. So 12,000 litres of oats, yeah. be quite good if I can sell that for 2,500 per thousand. So I'll just pull this out of the way, jump out, and uh, get the JCB in there. I'll need to swap it out. I think it's got the lifter on it at the minute, so I'll need to grab the bucket. Yeah. Uh, now, next question is, where would I have left the bucket? Um, hmm. Anybody else remember where I've left it? I'm sure it can't be far. It's not a big farm. Let's have a little look around. And... Where would you be if you were a bucket? Oh, I know where I've left it. I've left it in with the cow, haven't I? Still got some grass in it, I think. We'll quickly get it put on the front, and then I'll take them over a bucket load of oats. Um, should just be able to tip them on the floor, I'm assuming, in the uh, in the barn, if I do have any extras left over. So there we go. This on here, yeah, I do still have some grass in there, so I'll see if I can tip this out here, and if they'll take any more. If they don't, yeah, it'll just pile up there, that'll be fine. I can always come in, scoop that up again in the future as and when I need it. I do like this little JCB mod, it is very cool looking. Not the quickest one in the world, 12 miles an hour, it takes a few minutes to go anywhere, but, well, that's what it would be like in real life as well. So can I reload? Oh, hang on, I'm in the wrong place. That's for emptying out. So I'm not going to reload in there. I need to go next door. And in the ceiling in here, there's a spout. So I should be able to reload now. There we go. Oops. I'll take a full bucket load across. So I think that's about four and a bit thousand. Yeah. That's half my supply gone already. But it'll be going to a good home and it'll be going to good use. I'll see you across again at the horses in one second. Alright, we're over here. Full bucket of oats, and this should fit through this gate, just about. I need to lift the bucket up over the posts. There we go, we're in, we're in. And jump in cab for a second, just to try and make this a bit easier. Oh, sorry, Mr. Horse. I'll run you over. You are kind of stood in the worst place you could stand, however. So hopefully this will tip into here. At least I'm assuming it will, because I can't think of where else it's going to go. Gently does it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Is that all they wanted? Oh, he hasn't taken any oats. Uh, okay. No, in that case, where did... Oh, still saying 100% full. And it's just spilled all of them on the ground. Alright, okay. This might take a little bit of finding out where the oats go in this one. See if I can pick these up again. Yeah, there we go. Right, back us out of here. So if that's just for the hay, is there anywhere else around here? I can't see anywhere that looks like they would take oats. Aha! I got ya. I've never seen a trigger like that before, a feed trigger like that, where it's actually disguised as a couple of bags of horse food. It's pretty clever though, I do like it, but yeah, it looks like this could be quite a hungry horse. Um, they've already taken half the bucket, so I'm assuming this is going to go up to about 4,000 litres. 
And Oats, um, Oats is 60% effectiveness, so yeah, it's going to take that. Wow, he's emptied me out. I think I did spill some on the ground just at the end there, so I'll see if I can scoop it up. Is it lifting it? No. Oh, has he taken the entire thing? 3,000, no, 4,000, uh, just over 4,000, so there must be some on the ground here. Come on. Oh, I can't afford to be wasting the oats. Oh, it's not going to let me pick them up. Right, I might have to get a brush to sweep them up again then so I don't lose them. But that's okay. So, horse is fully fed now anyway. So if I do want to get another horse, it's probably going to cost me another 4,000 litres of oats. Um, I think I may stick to the greenhouses first. And that way I can get a little bit of money in. So I'll go back. I'll jump back into the harvester. Come across and do the field of wheat as well. And then that will get the first part of harvest done. Alright, so we're off again. We'll go over, bring in the wheat. And, well, maybe by the end of this episode then we might even manage to get a few chickens on the go. At least then they can start producing eggs overnight. And uh, for the little bit of money they will bring in. They're usually quite profitable. You don't make masses of money off them on a small scale, but it is all... It's all profit. It's all about keeping that turnover at the minute. So I'll probably see everybody in a couple of minutes. Once I get this harvest done, it won't be as big as the last one. So hopefully it'll all fit in one combine mode this time. See you in a minute and enjoy the music. better than I expected um, just over halfway through the field and having to empty out the combine so you yeah, have quite a few uh, wheat in this one so it's all good it's all good just back up a little bit more get the load spread out evenly so I'll go let this fill up park the uh, truck off at the side and just finish up this bit of harvest And that's the end of that one. So that's my first field of oats done. The wheat is in. Got, what's that, about 8,000, 9,000 litres of wheat. Very good. That'll certainly keep me going with a few chickens for a little bit of time. At least, I assume it will. I don't think they eat that much. But that pretty much draws this episode to a close and completes the first harvest. So thanks a lot for tuning in, folks. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I am, as ever, Walter P. Barnstormer. Do those normal YouTube things, like, share, subscribe, and hopefully we will see you next time whenever we start to get these beals in. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.